Hi, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today, this is engine number two of the pair of 185s that I have. I'm going to dismantle it today. Uh, if you want to see that process, I suggest that you check out the video for the 185 engine number one. What I really want to focus on today on this engine is how do we split the crankcase? You can't just take the bolts out and it falls apart. There's a process to it. If you do it incorrectly or try beating it apart, you're going to wreck stuff that you cannot get. So I'm gonna go over this today on this engine. And as you can see, uh, this is the components from the engine number one. They're not covered up yet, they're not washed. Uh, here's our engine mount and all of the smaller components are in this tray. It's just a little organizer tray I got from the dollar store. Uh, they're excellent because you can segregate the different bolts out and the different parts out. It makes it a lot easier for you. And nothing gets lost. This bigger container, of course, it has the crankcase and the crank and the piston and the exhaust and all the other pieces in there. Uh, so we'll get that all washed up later. So for now, let's carry on and I'll get this torn down to the part where we're going to take the uh, split the crankcase and I'll be back with you. Now that we're down to the step of separating the crankcase halves, I thought, well, let's give this a turn and see what's going on here. And I think the bearings are a little noisy. So just like with the uh, previous engine, I did mark the short and the long positions. Uh, you know, same engine, but you never know. So now let's get some heat on this because... What we need to do is expand this area right here, which is the outside of where the crankshaft bearing is received into the crankcase. So I'm not too worried at this point about uh, you know overheating the seal because it's getting a new one anyway. Matter of fact, it's probably such a hard rock it'll probably soften it up actually. So just continue the heat around. I'm trying to expand the whole crankcase. I mean, if I had a if I had an old oven here, I might throw it in the oven and do it, but uh, I don't. So gentle, gentle, tappy, tappy is the way to do this. We don't want to kill it. There we go. And off that half came. So now we'll repeat the same procedure for the other side. It'll have a little bit of heat in it already. And again, and we're going to work this area around the bearing because that's what's holding it in right now. See where we're at now. I'll try it just this way. Nope, not yet. Patience is required when you're doing this because you know, could you take it over to the press and press it out? Sure, you can get it out, but it's not the way it's to be done. This needs to be expanded so that the bearing will just basically slide out. 
and we'll just continue to heat this. Go a little bit further out because of course the heat's going to be going from where I'm heating it to the wherever it's still cool. So you notice I'm not ever keeping the flame in one spot at the same time, so I'm not going to damage it. I'm not going to melt a hole in it or something like that. See how we do with that. I'm gonna put a piece of wood underneath. Actually, yeah, I'll just and there we go. Out it came. So what we've done by uh, heating that up is we've just made the hole in here, the cavity in here, swell up a little bit. So that it'll release its grip on here so that's not even really that warm to the touch okay so that's how we split the crankcase on these 185 engines so that you don't damage anything so okay and then um, same as the other one now it's time to clean everything up and see what kind of parts we need for the uh, to complete the job so that's the process of how I separate the crankcase halves on a 185. Uh, so um, dead blow hammer, all right, doesn't leave any marks. You have to use a dead blow hammer. You don't want hammer marks in anything. Uh, it needs to look after we're finished that we were never even there. So you need a dead blow hammer, a source of heat, and some patience. All right, thanks so much for uh, watching today. Uh, appreciate the time you spent with me and if you haven't subscribed already you may consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell for the next time I post something up thanks so much bye now